So my topic on paper is Maxwell sinus a true amazing LA. Aim of this study how various pathology of Maxwell sinus on plane and contrast CT. Maxwell sinus is a most common perineal sinus affected by various disease pathology involving are the infectious that include sinusitis could be bacteria, fungal and allergic retention cyst, cyanonasal polyp, osteomyelitis. Neoplastic include inverted papilloma and tral carcinoma. Other are fibrous dysplasia, silent sinus syndrome, extramedial hematopoiesis. The gross anatomy of the maxillary sinus. This is a paired pyramid shape sinus in the maxillary bone. The drain via maxillary ostium into infaldivulum, then through the hiatus similaris into the middle meatus. This is the large paranasal sinus. The pyramid of the maxillary sinus have a base on the lateral border of the nose with apex pointing toward the zygomatic process of the maxilla. The floor is formed by the alveolar process of the maxilla. A roof is the orbital floor. The posterior wall from the anterior border of the pterygoid fossa here. This is the maxillary sinus, uncinate process, and the palatine bone. This is the coronal plan CT showing the drainage of the maxillary sinus. This is an uncinate process, middle turbinate, bulla ethmodalis, and this is the infundibulum, hydrosimilaris, and drained in the middle meatus. Method plain and contrast CT of the parent sinus on the 16 slice G CT machine. First case, a 15 year male. Complain of the slowly progressive painless swelling on the left cheek four to five years, not associated with fever and blood reports are normal. Here, this is the bone window axial CT showing ground glass bone matrix with bony expansion involving the left maxillary sinus with significant narrowing of the left maxillary sinus. Case two. Eight year male, a known case of the thalassemia, recurrent blood transfusion, and frontal bossing, depressed nasal bridge, and protruding maxilla. Here, the axial bone window CT showing hyponematization of the bilateral maxillary sinus and the maxillary sinus filled with marrow containing bone. Next case is a 15 year. Male complain of the nose breather since one year of the age, multiple upset of the recurrent sinusitis from the infancy on the history taking the give the history of dextrocardia. Then we go for HRCT showing the bilateral lower lobe showing bronchiectasis. Then final diagnosis the Cartagena syndrome. Here the axial non contrast CT showing soft tissue density uh, thickening with air fluid level. In the bilateral <clears throat> maxillary sinus, rarification of the medial wall of the maxillary sinus, and the contrast axial and coronal CT showing multiple well defined hyperdense polyploidal lesion involving the both maxillary sinus. And the fourth case is a third year, third year male known case of the B cell ALL on chemotherapy present with swelling on right cheek with pain and redness. Here the bone window of the axial CT showing soft tissue mucosal thickening and opacification and air fluid level in the right maxillary sinus and the soft tissue window showing preceptal and premaxillary edema in the right side discussion in the fibrous dysplasia of the maxilla the radio this is a radio lucent to radio opaque pattern is a result from the lesion transforming from ground glass appearance to a max, mixed appearance as a adulthood approaches the mixed appearance of the lesion result in a blending due to the absence of the distinct edge the appearance 
of a homogeneous pattern can be attributed to the loss of the lamina dura. The obliteration of the maxillary sinus is thereby due to presence of this lesion which blends with the, its boundary. Thalassemia is the most common known single gene disorder in the wide world which have a variety of types. Hyperplasia and the maxillofacial expansion develop that can lead to maxillofacial deformities. The impact of the thalassemia on the jaw and the skull include decrease of the general bone density due to bone marrow overgrowth, thin cortical bone and absence of inferior alveolar canal and small maxillary sinus. The characteristic finding of the sinusitis include air fluid level, mucosal thickening, and opacification of the normal irritated sinus lumen. The single distinguishing feature of the acute sinusitis is the air fluid level as an isolated finding, where the only characteristic finding in the chronic sinusitis is sclerotic thickened bone of the sinus wall. Mucosal thickening is common in both acute and chronic sinusitis. Hyperdense intrasinus is uh, secretion or bony erosion on CT suggestive of fungal sinusitis. CT scan is a good investigation tool for identifying the anatomy, pathology, and extent of the disease in pathology of the maxillary sinus with reasonable good sensitivity and specificity for the diagnosis. It also depicts the anatomical variation in the maxillary sinus, alerting surgeon about the possible complication and also aid in preoperative planning. Now, the CT scan should be performed preoperatively in order to guide the surgeon for face. Osteometrial complex pathologies is a frequent indication for face. The most common condition that determines blockage of the OMC and need for surgical treatment is concave bullosa. These are the references. Thank you.